five and eight still in hot pursuit of red Lamborghini. Good. Not so good. We're losing. No problem, 3824. Roadblock has been established. Pursuit. He won't get through here. What about that dirt road, Sarge? <laughs> if he takes that, he better have water wings. <laughs> I can remember when my grandfather taught me how to skip stones. You know what he told me? Always make sure the stone is flat. Exactly. Kind of sore, Grandpa. But you haven't got the angle quite right. Look, it's more like. What's that angle you were talking about, Grandpa? Valentino? Val Valentino, here. <laughs> I think you're slipping, my friend. No, no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> no, no. The, uh, the timing is sluggish. The timing. <laughs> the alignment is off. And, 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 and the shocks need replacing. Shocks. Yeah. See. So we fix, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We don't fix, huh? You fix. I'm going to go inside here and uh, psych out the competition. <laughs> This is Jack O'Neill and Heather Scott, and we're here at the pre-race party of the world-famous Cannonball Run. And we're talking to one of the members of last year's winning team. Um, you were saying something about the preparations a driver must make for this kind of race. I want. 
Yes, you were. Yes, I was. Uh, you were you were you were telling us um, about um, some special training. Training, right? Training is very important. Self discipline is everything. I understand you're racing in this year's cannonball. Yes, I am racing in this year's cannonball. I knew that. I didn't know that. Back to New Central. Back to New Central. I didn't know you were in there, I swear. You can be so cruel. Why, thank you. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, 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 oh, I'm, he's I'm, fine, he's fine. Charlie and I are old friends. He loves it when I pull these stunts on him, right, Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Hey, Charlie, what do you think? Tiffany's just become the new Miss BMW. Congratulations. It's Thanks uh, to a little help from you-know-who. <laughs> so, Charlie and I are old friends. We went to school together. We get into the car business together. I build them, he parks them. <laughs> oh, lighten up, Mr. Scholar. They call him Mr. Scholar. Still going to school. You're still going to school, aren't you, Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, trying to find himself. <clears throat> I'll see you inside, Leo. Nice meeting you, Mr. Cronin. I apologize for Leo. I had nothing to do with this. That's okay. It's it's. I'm used to it. It's nice meeting you, Tiffany. I might change my name to Norma Jean. What do you think? I kind of like Tiffany. Oh. Okay. Hey, I'll be right there, honey. So, Charlie, I see you're still quite the. Uh... Ladies, man. <laughs> ah, so where's all the race cars? They're parked out back. Really? Well, here. Park mine, will you? Oh, Cronin. Yeah. You be careful with that car. It hasn't been broken in yet. I'll treat it like it was my own. Lots full. I'll leave it here. You know, it should put one scratch on that car. Yeah? Well, it's just a good thing for you that, uh, <clears throat> that you didn't. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm a bodybuilder, but I'm studying acting. I just... Yes, yes, the, the body is the, is the temple of the soul. Drink, drink, I can. <laughs> this is for you. I cannot do it the night before the cannonball run. Of all your ideas, this is the stupidest. We look like cheap hookers. Oh, now we do not look cheap. We look like expensive hookers. 
Besides, guys like this sort of thing. Margaret, we have five PhDs between us. We've made important breakthroughs in automotive technology. Why can't we just go out there and do an intelligent presentation of our discoveries? Why do we have to look like bimbos? Because we'll be talking to men. And first, we gotta get their attention. Yeah, and then what, huh? Then they become slobbering, puerile pigs. <laughs> Vic! You're in big trouble, Alec. I gotta kill you. Uh, look, um, I know Big Wally, and, uh, he'd never say kill. He probably said call. <laughs> That's it. He said call, Alec, and you thought he said kill, Alec. <laughs> Isn't that silly? <laughs> Well, now, uh, we have a number of products I know you're going to like, Mr. Gold, but... Why don't you tell me, Gus? All right, Gus. But one of the things I know you're going to love is our fuzz buster. This just isn't any old fuzz buster, Gus. Huh? No, it's the best fuzz buster ever made. It identifies a particular molecule unique only to police uniforms. I call it the polyester cord. It's on every cop in America. See, what our machine does is it not only picks up the radar, it picks up the cops, too. You know, their, their clothes, their shoes, their scars, hats, ties. Now, what yeah, he's discovered is I don't, I don't think I'd really be doing my job for Ferrari if I didn't take a long, hard look at that equipment of yours. Uh, well, uh, it's right out in the car. Why don't I, uh, why don't Lee and I just scoot on out there and get it? Yeah, well, it, you know, it's so noisy in here. Why don't you go and get it and then bring it back to my room and we'll take a look at it there. I'm in 122. Uh, 122? <laughs> Come on, Lee. Grab your coat, dear. What would Big Wally rather have? Me dead, or his 50 grand? Both. <laughs> Vic, this is my big shot. I've got a thousand on the Jaguar to win. Why, you betting on car races? You never learn, do you, Alec? Look, how many years have I been placing bets with Big Wally? Eight years. Eight. Eight, Eight years. Now, give me a hand. Two. Now, I haven't won in eight years. Now, how many months are there in a year? Twelve. Right. Eight times twelve is What is this? A quiz or something? Eight Come times on. twelve is n n Six. Right. From there, flip over here. Now, the odds on the Jag are 100 to 1. Take the 96 from here, put it over here, subtract from the 100, and you end up with sounds like dinosaur, shut the door, pop, 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 pop. Right. Now, their odds are 100, my odds are 4. Vic, I can win that race even if that car blows four tires in an engine. Ah. Uh. The guy's a dink. Honey, he's all we got. I just don't want to put my future into the hands of some scuzzball. I'm telling you, the guy's a dink. Look, will you relax? With our gadgets in his car, he can't lose. This is no way to present a scientific breakthrough, Margaret. The world will get out to the right people. They'll bankroll us. We'll become millionaires. Come on, open. You girls ready to buy? Yeah, one fuzz buster coming up. Can you join me in the jacuzzi? That's strange. That only happens when there's cops around. What you all got on underneath that towel? Nothing. You're right about that.
I am a man with a lustful appetite. To the cannonballer. President of the Fraternal Order of Police Chiefs of the United States of America. Uh, Chief, in conducting this raid, aren't you arresting people before they break the law? Preemptive strike. Why wait till the snake bites before you blow its head off? I want my lawyer. Get Come out on, of here. Get Come in on, there. Let's go. Get in Move. there. Tell your lawyer he'll be seeing Judge Henry. Judge Henry, the ha hanging judge? And when he's through with him, there'll be the appellate court. And then the state court. And then the Supreme Court. This scum is mine for the next three years. The cannonball is history. Yep. Oh. You don't understand. They arrested all the drivers and took their cars, but they still run the race anyway. It cost me one thousand American dollars to get back the Lamborghini. I'm at the police station right now. Donato, listen to my lips. We don't have a driver. Basta. I don't care what you say. I'm coming off. <laughs> you wouldn't do that. Not your own brother. Donato. Donato. Wrong way. Paul Newman's making a movie somewhere. Where are we going to find a driver? Paul Tripp is racing in Atlanta. Jackie Stewart isn't racing anymore. What good is that? I'm bad. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? My nails. Jack. There isn't going to be a race. Heather. This important moment in history has been permanently canceled. Heather. I know it's a real tragedy for you, Jack. But you don't understand these people, do Jack. you? Jack. They are not going to let some dumb cop screw up their race. Jack, it's over. We are going home. No, it isn't. AC, unpack. We are not leaving. AC, pack. We are leaving. Jack! Spit it, Alec! There ain't no race, Alec, so I gotta kill you! I can't let you do it, Vic. You'll hate yourself in the morning. Vic, I was just kidding. Now just relax, Alec. I don't want to die, Vic. I'll get the money from somewhere. Don't fight back. You'll snap your neck real clean. Help! No, Vic. Not the belt. Talk about this, Vic. No, no, it's not. Come on, Vic. Take it like a man. Take it like a man. Take it. What are you doing? Take. Give me my pants. Let go of it. Let go of the pants. Are you going to bite them? Ow. Vic. Love. Sorry. Fly. It's me! It's me! Alec! Alec! Is that you? How do you mean? Oh, well, that's good, actually. No, this bloody race thing's driving me around the bend. Really? Yeah, well, first it's on, then it's off, then it's on again. So, Alec, you're going to introduce me to your friend? <laughs> Sorry. Clyde Barrington, Mrs. Vick, uh... Uh, Derubis. <laughs> Derubis. From the house of the Rubus. Fix my thing like Clive. He was just checking my neck size. Uh -huh. So, 
You're saying they're still going to run the race? Tomorrow morning, as scheduled. Then the Jag's still running. Still running. It's the best car we've ever entered. 12 cylinder, 262 horsepower, 5.3 litre engine, new electronics, new fuel management system. Why, well, the damn thing can go 145 miles an hour. <laughs> and they're letting us go off at 100 to 1. Hey, you really think you can win that thing? Well, actually, no. Not without a driver. Home office won't let me use a yank. And since Alec and I are the only Englishmen here, <laughs> you don't happen to be a professional driver, do you? <laughs> Not since the Albanian Grand Prix. 74. Finish second. Really? <laughs> Somebody beat you in Albania? Look, it's impossible. Right, every team here is in the same boat. Well, how am I supposed to find another driver in five hours? Forget it, I've tried everybody. I tried him, he doesn't like me. I tried him, he doesn't like me. Look, I don't want to get into my personal problems on the phone, okay? You're... Well, what do you want me to do? You want me to grab any moron off the street? You want me to drive your car in the race? I've got a lot of confidence in you, Charlie. I always thought you, you, you didn't like me. Whoa. Now, that is weird. That's very weird, because I always thought that you didn't like me. How about that? I don't. You don't? No. Wow. Whoa. What? No, it's, uh... It's just I've always considered you my closest and dearest friend, Charlie. You can't mean that. Come on, you're not serious. You know I hate you. Mm, no, didn't get it. Come on. Leo, I've always hated you. Why do you think I played all those tricks on you, Charlie? Because, you know, I, I thought you were buddy enough to, to, to handle it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. You know, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm really, really hurt. You're serious, aren't you? You really thought we were friends. Hey, Leo, I am so sorry. No, I am. I mean, I feel terrible. Please, I'm... You know what? Forgotten. Hmm? Yeah. We're friends. Helping friends. Isn't that what it's all about, Charlie? Huh? Yeah, right. Can I buy you a drink, friend? Yeah. Yeah. Sal, what are you having, friend? Hmm. Whatever you're having. Bourbon and Clamato. <laughs> You okay? Oh, fine. So, uh, Gussie, huh? Looks like you're down to no chips here, huh, pal? <laughs> what my friend is trying to tell you is that you've got two terrific drivers right under your cute little nose. Yeah, yeah, okay. You girls have had your little joke, all right? What you don't understand is this is a very sophisticated piece of equipment. And I can't entrust it to a couple of broads, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me. Hey, your electronic toys are terrific, you know? But this race is the real thing. Get him. Don't worry, Leo, old buddy. I'm gonna take good care of it for you. Yeah, that's good, Charlie. Where's your passenger? Passenger? Uh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, Leo. You didn't say anything about a passenger, all right? I drive alone. That's the deal. I don't want some goof sitting next to me all the way to California, throwing my timing right off. Ah, there she is. She who? Your passenger, Tiffany. Tiffany? Mind you, another person in the car would be company. <laughs> Tiffany, honey, you remember Charlie, our driver? <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Cronin. Hello. 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 Charlie, you remember Tiffany? Yes. Yes. Oatmeal. I forgot to add the water. Leo, I need to talk to you. Margaret? Hmm? Would you make sure the organic vehicular mode's secure, please? No problem. Want to hand me that ratchet? Oh, never mind. I see it. 
See, I told you to trust me. We got our race. We're gonna be rich. And you got rid of those ridiculous glasses. <laughs> I've been thinking about what you said last night. Ah. Uh. And I just don't feel right. Sweetheart, all I said was that I have certain needs. And I'm attracted to you, and when you don't put out, you know, I mean, really. But you're married. In name only. The lawyers are drawing up the papers as we speak. I just don't feel right. Honey, 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 I got you your Miss BMW title. You got some nice little prizes, didn't yeah. you? I got you a contract for a hit TV show. I mean... You owe me. You know, I scratch your back and you can scratch whatever the hell you like. <laughs> Wanna open the trunk? Yeah, sure. You're gonna love California. You're gonna have your own little place. It'll be great. Honey, trust me. Leo! What? Hey, pal, uh, I know it's none of my business. Is everything all right there? You're right, it's none of your business. Anything else about my personal life you want to know? Yeah, is this job for real or what? Oh, Charlie. You don't trust me. I didn't say that. No, 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 no. Why don't you take some steel spikes and just drive them into my chest? Come on, I, I didn't mean that. I... No, you like hurting me. I don't like hurting you, all right? I, I used to. I don't anymore. I quit my job, and I'm a little nervous, that's all. The man's making 200 Gs a year. He's the official driver for BMW. He's got a place in Malibu. I mean, come on. Oh, things are moving a little fast for me. You know, I'm not used to this kind of thing. Hey, pal, welcome to the real world. I Go guess. Go ahead, tell them. <laughs> welcome to the real world. Really? Poor yeah. <laughs> S6T. Let me put it. Alec? Did you talk to Big Wally? Yeah, yeah. I told him you got away on me. He was very unhappy. Trust me, it's the brightest move you ever made. Yeah, well, meanwhile, my reputation as an enforcer has been permanently soiled. But when we win, you just say you caught up with me and I gave you the 50 grand. Then we split the other 50 grand and everyone's happy. Hey, wait a minute. The deal is, I get 35, you get 15. Isn't that what I just said? You just said we'd split it. But I didn't say we split it evenly. You get 15 and I get 35. Right. Right. And if we don't win? Then you kill me. Right. Right. Here. Is it finished? Is it finished? Listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> Looks great, too. What's going on? We are going to be at the cannonball. What? We're going to broadcast the whole race live. That's it, I'm phoning Duncan. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Listen, I, I, I already cleared this with Duncan. Uh, babe, he smells Pulitzer. Duncan would never go for this. Do you think I'm lying? Yes. <laughs> Why don't we just phone Duncan then, huh? Okay. Let's phone Duncan. Okay. Hi, Duncan. Yeah, it's me, Jack. Did I wake you up? Hello? No, you're gonna have to speak up. I can't hear you. Who's calling? Yes, yeah, yeah. AC did that something special to the van. We're ready to go. We just have one problem. Heather doesn't want to do it. I didn't say that. Now I'm getting a different story. No, no, she didn't say she wouldn't do it. Um... No, I don't think she's wearing one. What did he want? He said he had AC do something special to the van, but Heather still didn't want to do it. Yeah, I'll tell her. Uh, Duncan said... Yeah. Now you all know the rules. You punch, 
punch in when you start, and you punch out when you hit the Santa Monica Pier. Chuck! Hey, thank you. Have a nice day. The Van Sloans? The Van what? They've got more money than God's accountant. Champion downhill skiers, two Olympic gold medals. It's them, all right. There might be a story here after. Pulitzer, babe. Pulitzer. Driving the Excalibur. Billy Joe Hilton. In the Ferrari. Now, now, Mr. Bigashaw, I told you we couldn't get another driver, but you never listened to me. Number 43, Richard Petty, the ST. This is going to be fun. Yes. Are you sorry you're not going to I wouldn't go for a million, billion dollars. A great body is a terrible thing to waste. Sabi, I give up race. My brother Donato, you make me do this. Please, mister, don't put me in jail with the Manson family. Put your seatbelt on. Put your hands on the dashboard. Come on, we got some catching up to do. What are you doing? I mean, are you crazy? Relax. You've got plenty of time. You've got a brilliant idea. Well, so far I don't like it. Well, so far you haven't even heard it. <laughs> okay, what is it? I'll tell you when we get to the airport. Airport? What airport? The Dallas airport. Are we going to Fresno? Fresno? Who said anything about Fresno? You Did said I say anything well, about you Fresno? You said the Dallas airport. The Dallas airport I know is in Fresno. I didn't say Dallas. I said, Dallas, Dallas, read my lips. Hello, Virginia Highway Patrol. Hey, yes, sir. Uh, this here is Wardle Fleen out in Alexandria. 
Yes, sir. Well, I'd like to report a stolen car, please. Yes, it's a Cadillac convertible. It's white. Kind of a Betty White. Betty White. It's a red Fiero, and he ran over my grandson. It's a white Excalibur, and all my wallpaper temples were in the back. Come on, officer, live up to that badge. <laughs> so, Vic, what do you think of my idea now of writing down the license plate numbers, hmm? Yeah, that's a good idea. How many times are you going to bring it up? Uh, the license plate is as follows. R-I-C-H. I think that spells rich. Kids. With a K for kids. Why are we going to Vegas? Because we don't have to be in L.A. till tomorrow afternoon at the earliest. So why spend the night? It's so boring. It is boring, yeah. So we play a little crap, see some old friends. And make some new friends. Make some new friends. Tomorrow we go to the airport, fly to L.A., pick up the other Bentley. The other Bentley. Drive across the finish line, refreshed, relaxed, and with hours to spare. Why'd I doubt you? Will you forgive me? Remember, you've got that stone. Well, so are you. Van Sloan's never have to ask for forgiveness. That's right, we buy it. We buy it, that's right. You really want to win this thing, don't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, winning the cannonball, uh, that's something you tell your grandkids about. You're a grandfather? You look so young. No, I'm not a grandfather. I'm. That's just a figure of speech. I'd. I'd like to have grandchildren one day, but I'm not a grandfather now. No. Oh. <laughs> Silly me. I see what you mean. Sorry. That's okay. It's important to have things in your life that are, you know, important. But of course, there are things that you want to do. But to do them, you gotta do things that you don't want to do. But I don't like dogs. I have a congenital allergy. It's nothing personal. That little dog is gonna get you elected to the Senate. It's like uh, Richard Nixon's checker speech. Richard Nixon is my idol. America loves dogs. Spiro Edsel loves dogs. Ah, Spiro Edsel. A real American with a Mexican chihuahua. I like it. Wait a minute. This dog could be a possible illegal alien. Well, that's good, Chief. That's that's great. It shows that you're very open to the uh, to the good neighbor policy. Right. International diplomacy. I love it. We'll get some shots of this. Here we are, Chief. Very nice. Have some fun with it. Have some fun. There we go. Now show them you mean business. Don't be afraid to let a little bit of that Edsel warmth shine through. Chief! What? What? Didn't I tell you to hold all calls? For the cannonballers. It's all over the TV. They're racing again. I'll crush them. I'll pulverize them. I'll wipe them off the face of the map. Right. No one messes with Spiro Edsel. Let the word go forth from this time and this place. Shoot this, shoot it. The torch has been put to a new generation. I got goosebumps. Do you ever worry about the axle? The axle? It can suddenly just snap in half like a twig. No. No, the axle's the strongest part of the whole car. Yeah, but it could have some kind of flaw in it. Something they forgot in the factory. No, I don't think so. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. It's not going to happen. Oh, no! What? Do you ever worry about the other cars? What about the other cars? They say a lot of people commit suicide in their cars. They just go out into the highway and drive into the oncoming traffic. They're whip! It's all over. You're a barrel of laughs, aren't you? <laughs> what if a tire blows? At this speed, we could be dead. You want to lighten up, huh? All right, I guess uh, I guess maybe we could blow a tire. And uh, maybe the axle could snap. And maybe some nut could come running right into us. And maybe the world could end. But you and me worrying about it isn't going to make any difference. Let me tell you something else. You're really bumming me out with all this paranoid stuff. You understand? Look, if I'm going to win this race, I, I've got to be loose. I, I must be relaxed, and I'm getting too tense now. You're getting me all nervous. 
I can't breathe. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I got asthma. And I, I just, you get me tense and I'm like, I, look, I'm like, you know what your problem is, if you don't mind my saying so? You got too much going on upstairs. You're, you're too busy in your thoughts. You gotta relax. You gotta learn to, to settle down. I don't know how to relax. Well, breathe. That's always, I read somewhere, that's very good for you. If you just in your nose and out your mouth. There are deep breaths, you know, find a center somewhere in your body and then focus on it. It's an Eastern thing. But you gotta in and out, in and out breathing because this is, you're too tense. You're too wrapped up. I've gotta focus on this race. I, I don't mean to yell at you or anything like that. I got to, Tiffany? Tiffany, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... You all right? Holy smokes. Works. Go on, Lurleen. Give her a little gas. I'm sorry, Mr. Benson. I'm just not real secure yet with my driving. No, no, no. Come on. This is an American-built vehicle. It practically drives itself. Put a little pressure on your tootsie there. Watch it. Go ahead. See that? Go for it. That's it. What's this? What's this? A Volvo. A Volvo! Pass it! Pass it! Pass it! Not only pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Floor it! Why didn't you go back to Sweden? You bunch of yodelers! Ah! No Swede is gonna pass an American. It does have a lot of power. Power? Listen, honey, I know your dad. He's gonna want you to drive an American vehicle, okay? Hell, you get 30,000 mile warranty, and I'm not talking about your kilograms or your, 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 your liters or your, your Celsius or any of that foreign fake crap. Go ahead, put your foot down a little more. Italians! Step on it! Go, go! Bear down, woman, bear down! They're probably mafia. Oh, shoot them to cops. Cops? Some friend you turned out to be. Step on it! Step past it! Come They're a bunch of garlic eaters! Oh, darn cop! Pass it! Pass it! Come on! Come on! Arriva Dancing! Yeah, well, my dear, my mom be a pal! Don't worry, I can catch her! Slow down now, baby. Like you said, we gotta get those Italians! Uh, uh, actually, I think that was an American vehicle. That was, uh, a Chevy. Yes, that was a Chevy, uh, Nova. That's what that was. A Chevy Nova. Slow down. I think we should pass it, just in case. I don't think so. I definitely don't think so. Let's go! Slow down. Slow down! Lovely! Slow down! That was a Chevy Nova? Yeah, that was a, a Chevy Nova. Did they make a pickup truck? You missed it! All right, I'm driving. What? Come on. Come on, too sweet! Vic, you speak French. Just hang on! What are you going to do? I'm going to take matters under my own hand. No, Vic, I can't! For real! You're a maniac! Look, there's a bird nesting. Piece of cake! You're in some kind of hurry, aren't you? Yeah. You got a problem with that? Shut up! My good man, how would you like to earn one hundred dollars? What? Some friends of ours will be arriving on the other side very shortly, and we'd like you to stall them. Sort of a joke. 
No, I can't do it. It's against regulation. Two hundred dollars? Regulation. Three hundred dollars. It's against regulations. Regulate this. <laughs> regulations, eh? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Regulations. Okay, my friend. how I would have handled it. Good work. Ta-da. Let's go. I'll drive. All right. You drive. Are we supposed to be in this race, Jude? We haven't seen anybody for about two hours. They are. What'd they tell you? Now where are they going? What you do with your money? Women, liquor, gambling, eh? Bread and water, pal. I'm a cop, remember? <laughs> so what? You don't get no bribes, huh? Nobody offers. So go be a cop in uh, New York, Chicago, huh? Chicago. Chicago. So long, suckers! <laughs> He's passing out! This car was supposed to be fast! Keep your belt on, you think? <laughs> Sucker this! I just thought of something, Malik. And I just want you to answer yes or no. You don't have anything planned for after this race, do you?
Cigarette. Um... What the hell is this problem? Speaking of problems, what were you doing? The, the, the end of my cigarette. It, it, it fell between your legs. I was trying to get it before it burned you. Go ahead, take a look. All right, just just hold on. I'll, I'll lose this nut. We'll pull over somewhere. Now what? The engine overheated. That makes the two of us. We're losing power. This guy's crazy, Charlie. The heater. The heater? Yeah. The heater. It'll blow the heat out of the engine, maybe cool it down. Charlie, do something! <laughs> Close the window! Oh, please, Charlie. No. Just a little bit. Didn't you see what happened? Don't make me bad. Okay, just a little bit. But just a little. Yeah. That feels good, Charlie. As you can see, the cannonballers are fanning out, but not for long. I'm shutting down every highway in the country, except for one road. Interstate 70, the American Northern Route. Baker, California. That's where they're headed, but they don't know it yet. But I know it. And we'll all be there to greet them with cars, tanks, ammo. Shoppers, and television, and radio, and, and newspapers, right, white man? Absolutely, Chief, yeah, <clears throat> it's Whitman. Yeah. Whitman, right, worldwide coverage, all there to see me wipe the cannonball off the face of God's green earth. Mm. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early all units were bust down our westbound highway. Diver traffic to Route 80. Route 80. Gotta go around. Route 80 this way. Sorry, folks. Bridge collapsed up ahead. Really? You know, we've been listening to the news on the radio, and they haven't said anything about it. No rain. There's no wind. Hey, I just follow orders. Yeah, so how do we get around? Well, you can hang a left. Thank you. And then... Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here! Jack, what are you doing? There's something sour here. I just got a hunch. Right. A cop is going to stand in the middle of armpit Kansas just to lie to you. See? Ha ha ha, I told you. Good call, Mr. O'Neill. Thanks, kid. It's just a little something I like to call instinct. All the great reporters have it. It's more than that. It's, uh, what's the word? What's the word? What? Pursuit of a red Lamborghini proceeding west on I-70 at high speed. Roger, Unit 34. Come on, baby. Let's get just some Lamborghini.
right, I'm Cowboy. This is Red Dog on your tail. Uh, I'm trying to lose a Smokey. Uh, can you help me out? I hear you, son. Yeah. See, I understand the law enforcement mentality. You look for speeders on the road, not above it. See, <laughs> see. Si, si. <laughs> May I see your license? What do you know? Now that we're out of Iowa, you're out of your jurisdiction. Capiche? One, I told you, Vic. If you've got it, flaunt it. Flaunt. No, Vic, they'll see you. I knew Mummy's compact would come in handy. Now, Vic, my way. Clever. Out of the race in such a way they'll never suspect the thing. The ghost. We should have checked the registration. Good night, champ. Come again. My car. My car. Go ahead, rip into me. I deserve it. I screwed up. I almost got us killed. You were right. I was? I was. You were. A good reporter follows their instincts. Jack, I want to get the story. I don't care what happens. For the first time in my life, I feel like a real news reporter. Angeles flight 116. As you all know, this is an economy flight, so I don't expect a lot of extras. In fact, if we make it at all, consider that a bonus. <laughs> it's a joke. Come on, people, it's a joke. I'm kidding. Hey, I'm talking here. Your respect, please. Okay, as far as our safety procedures. <laughs> Who are we kidding? If you wanted safety, you wouldn't be flying with us, right? <laughs> Was there something I could do for you, gentlemen? Excuse me, I've seen you before. Uh, aren't you, um... Uh... Still am. Oh, Brooks! It's Brooke, lady. Not Brooks, Brooke. There is only one of me. Brooke Shields, that's Brooke Shields. Brooke. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you don't mind me asking, but why, I mean, your work, I mean, what do you... Uh... <laughs> After four years of Princeton, my professor suggested I seek higher goals. So I figured, what better place? You know, to keep my face in the public. And besides, I don't want to spend the rest of my life doing bit parts in movies. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> it sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> this is a hijack. 
We're going to Nicaragua. Uh, can we make that El Salvador? Well, what do you mean? Costa Rica. Uh, and my uh, mother lives there. Yeah. What? Uh, the Bahamas. Uh, uh, how about the American make Island? Make up your mind. Uh, 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 help me! Uh, Get it! Hi, Jack! Hi, Jack! I'm clean, Hal! Uh, flight 116, I said runway 8, not interstate 80. Weirdest telemetry I've ever seen. See, either something's really gone haywire here, or there's a an airplane in the road. Right. <laughs> I guess this means we've lost the race. No, 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 it doesn't. Remember, we're Van Sloan's. We don't lose. Yeah, that's right. Well, not in a million years. Look, you do have power. Yes. And steering capability. Uh-huh. And you do have a place to spend $50,000. Gentlemen, we now begin our new unique feature, the Fly Drive Tour of the United States. Mascara. I want lots what? of mascara. What? It's good, Chief. Makes your eyes pop out on television. There we go. Huh. Whoever it is with that mirror, I want his badge number. I'll personally crack a single mirror on his head. What's he saying? I hope this message doesn't come at an inopportune time. Look, can't you make these things more concise? I've spotted the cannonballers on the uh, hill. On the hill. Can you hear it? Hear what, Chief? Screaming engines, burning tires. God, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Napalm? I've been here before. A glorious feeling. The Carthaginians were up there on that hill over there. I love it. God help me, I do love it so. He's an anachronism, this one. Yeah, pure warrior. Can't buy that. Red India. <sighs> well, while I think of it, Chief, do you think you could get me one of those little handguns? Use mine. The new stealth model. Oh, be careful. Safety's off. You don't think I'm insane, do you? <laughs> no, Chief. I uh, I think you'll be president. I'm going to sleep. Wake me up when we hit L.A. I'm hungry. I wonder if they're going to feed us on this flight. I do not speak English too good. Uh, uh, French? Francais? 
Oui, oui, les Français, vous parlez français. Uh, non, uh, uh, petit parler, non parler, non, speak of French. <laughs> you would like my penis? Excuse me. You would like my penis? I'm, uh, I'm on my way to meet my wife, my kids, two kids. I got uh, two, three kids. A big reunion. <laughs> you would like my penis? Look, I'm, I'm really not interested. Uh, I have no problem with it. It's just not my thing, okay? <laughs> you would like? <clears throat> Peanuts! <laughs> oh, sure, thank you very much. I thought, I thought you were... I thought you were talking about something else. <laughs> this is a momentary obstacle. Mustn't panic. Keep your belt on. Get in the car, Alec. What are you going to do? Get in the car, Alec. I'm gonna drive. Vic, you turn that frown upside down right now. I'll turn you upside down right now. Uh, this is gonna be a lesson in human-type psychology. What are you going to do, Vic? Shut up! Can't we at least talk about this? They won't let us kill ourselves. <laughs> I know cops! Cops aren't liberals, Vic! Watch! <laughs> Cop of the world, Ma! <laughs> Top for the world! Give me those keys! I want them! What are you doing, you, you What are you doing? Vic, we're going to I'm die! I'm gonna kill you, Alec! <laughs> <laughs> I should have killed him! Arrest them! Use unnecessary force, if necessary! Pull this thing out of here! Chief, what are you going to do with them? Chief, over here. What are your plans? When are the cannonballers going to arrive? Excuse me, please. I believe the chief has a statement he'd like to make. <clears throat> As an American senator, I will uphold the laws of this great nation of ours, just as you see me doing today. What's that? With total repression for all who deviate. No, that! Holy crow. <laughs> Okay? That pilot will never fly in this town again. Look! Stand them! Heavily on you! Stand them! Right! Let's get out of here! Yeah. James Caan, good. If 
it's my turn, Charlie. Who was the woman who starred in the film where she was trying to save her father? Oh, well, that narrows it down, doesn't it? What's that supposed to mean? Well, there were only about 9,000 movies where women were trying to save their farms or their factories or their rivers or their trees. Come on, Charlie, don't be a poor sport. Well, it's not much to go on. I mean, James Conn was pretty obvious. I told him he played Sonny in The Godfather. He got killed halfway through the movie at a toll booth. Let's be fair. I mean, I gave you a whole lot of extra information on that one. <laughs> You're being a real baby, Charlie. What? All I want is one hint, one lousy little hint. That makes me a baby? Okay. She won an Oscar in 1986. In, uh, 86. Uh, that would be, um... Uh, oh, who is it? That's it! <laughs> um... Oh, um... I, 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 give me a hint. Nope. Come on, give me another hint. I gave you lots of hints. Oh, wait a minute, I got it now. Uh, the, the actress with the freckles. Uh, she was in Coal Miner's Daughter. Real good. You mean Sissy Spacek? Right, that's her. Nope. <laughs> wait a second, I got it now. She's real good looking. She was in King Kong. Come on, Charlie. She played that picture with Jack Nicholson, the postman thing. Wait a second, Jessica, Jessica. Lay? Right. Nope. Yeah. Sally Field. Oh, Sally Field, sure. Okay, your turn. Okay. Uh, it's a person that is not in movies. That makes it too hard. No, this is a real easy one. He's a current vice president. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wasn't Duncan on the phone. No, it wasn't Duncan. That was a total fraud. <laughs> That was a bad idea. No, Jack, it was not a bad idea. It was a good idea. We got to take chances, have some fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but you know what? I can't do what you can do. I mean, I could never cover the Senate or the UN. I'm just... As good as anybody I've ever seen. You really mean that. I really mean it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to sunny California. Well, I tell you, I uh, had a little problem with the car here. I don't know really what happened to it. You got a problem, all right. You got to come with me. Where are we going? Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you Richard Petty? Sometimes. Hey, well, will you do me a favor? I'm a yeah, big I mean... fan of yours, and I'd really love to have your autograph before right. I run you in. Before you run me in? Yeah. You got to come with me. You're one of them cannonballers. Oh, no. You got to go downtown? How do you use this thing? Uh, just like a regular phone. What's the number of the Los Angeles Police Department? I have no idea. Oh, no, here it is, here it is. Okay. Come on, lose this guy! No! What? Help me! <laughs> you better know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing, Victor. Leave me alone. Let me concentrate. Somebody got up on a wrong side of bed this morning. Shut up! I'm sorry. Everybody, now listen up and listen good. Starting now, we're on red alert. This is Chief Spiro P. Edsel calling. I want everybody to drop what you're doing and head immediately to the Santa Monica Pier. Is that understood? Yes, I understand. We have to go to Santa Monica. Traffic is moving along very nicely on our freeways here in L.A. on this beautiful sunny afternoon. Can you believe this? Great, just great. Jack, you're tired. You've driven a long stretch. Yeah, you're right. Up. <laughs> ha ha, we lost him. I can't believe it, Margaret. Smell victory. Sugar, that ain't victory. That's the ocean. Oh, I think this little puppy's on the fritz. We drove 3,000 miles to get stuck in LA. Come on, let me drive. Come on. Okay. Switch. I lived in LA for two years. It takes a certain kind of personality to get around in this city. That 
tells you where movie stars live. Is that the only map they had? He's all right. I find Santa Monica beer. Well, how do we get there? <laughs> Turn right here at Sly Stallone's house. And then it's a left at the Lucy Boys. That's the Lone's house? feeling we're gonna win this thing I'm gonna win the cannonball <laughs> I'm gonna be famous we'll both be famous you as a driver and me as an actress on divorce court those are actors on divorce court yeah that's how good they are you don't even know that they're acting so I guess I'll be in really excellent company which is good when you're just starting out yeah <laughs> Leo got me the contract I never thought I'd say this, but he's actually a great guy. I'm not so sure, Charlie. He can be mean. Well, how long have you known him? Two weeks. Oh, well, there you go. You see, it's taken me 14 and a half, 15 years to get to know him. He's got one of those personalities, you know? It's kind of a difficult thing to put a finger on it, but he's, he's okay, but you think he's a creep? Oh. <laughs> Seems to be something wrong with the brakes. <laughs> we don't seem to have any. <laughs> What are we gonna do, Charlie? <laughs> now, don't get scared of anything, okay, Tiffany? It's gonna be fine. It's just that we got no brakes. We're out of control. You drive like my grandmother! All right, all right! Don't panic, don't panic. We'll be fine. <laughs> Through it! Okay, okay! This is just my luck. Boy, they drive fast here in L.A. Oh, Charlie. Okay, here we go. Hang on, hang on. All right, I got it now. I haven't taken you over 10 miles. Hey, you dropped this back there. Thanks a lot. Oh, Charlie, that car Lewis. Oh. Nah. It is, it is. Oh, yeah, sure. Carl Lewis. <laughs> Isn't he dreamy? <laughs> Blue Jay out there. There they are. All right, thanks. Man. Did we stop them? Stop them. You're a nut, you know that? You're a lunatic. You belong in a nut house, not the White House. But I tried to help you. Can I get a popcorn, please? Hey. Yes, uh, Oh, yes, yes. Just bring my car around and give it a hot whack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Big! 
not celebrating. Uh, I don't really fit in with that crowd. You haven't even given them a chance. Alec, I'm sorry I was going to kill you. I didn't really want to, but you know Big Wally. You know something, Vic? You really should leave Big Wally. It's not the right line of work for you. Now, what else could I do? You've got money now. You could invest it. Start a business. You mean something legit? In fact, I could even help you get started. No kidding? Vic, have you ever been to Monte Carlo? No. Is that a good place for investments? Would I steer you wrong? This has been the most exciting time of my life. Mine too. It makes one realize how much fun life can be. Oh, isn't that the truth? And how you should take advantage of every moment. Yeah. Now listen, we lose the race. <laughs> Do you hear me? I laugh at you, Donato. <laughs> and another thing, I give the cat to a friend of mine. That's right, the papers are in my name, so I give it to him. He helped me finish the race, and he's a nice guy. Not like you, Donato, a bum. And your wife, Marisa, she sleeps with all the mechanics. This I know. And another thing, I stay here in America. And if you don't like it, Donato, you can go from hell. Tell Mama I love her. I can't believe it. I'm an embarrassment to the scientific community. They'll never take me back at MIT. Oh, now, sugar, don't be so hard on yourself. Besides, I'm not so sure we want to go back to MIT. What? Nah, I think we want to stay here and get into a little marine biology. Huh? I'll have one of those rocket scientists explain it to you. Oh, uh, Todd! You know him? No, but one of them is always named Todd. Come on, I'll introduce you. Dad, I still say that was a bad idea! But I didn't crash the plane! Well, it's still a stupid idea! Well, that's not the point! Van Sloan's never quit! Never quit! That's why we're winners! That's right! Oh, oh, oh no! You are... You're very special. I hope that uh, one day when you're a big movie star, you'll still talk to me. Oh, I will. I'll never be like that. Tiffany! Tiffany! I've been looking all over for you. How you doing, Leo? What are you doing, Cronin? Driving with the brakes on? <laughs> Just kidding. You did a great job. Baby, come on. I have to go. Bye, Tiffany. Bye, let's go, baby. Good luck. On four sports. I missed you. I really did. A couple of things. The house didn't work out because, you know, the rents here in Los Angeles are really murder. But I got us a lovely little room at the Motel 6. You're going to love it. And I think you're going to have to lay a little low for the next couple of weeks because my wife is coming into town. And, you know, I think she's starting to get a little suspicious. So, <clears throat> it's not... Tiffany? What are you doing? I can't be with you, Leo. You're not a nice person. Well, what's that got to do with it? We had a deal. I'll accept the contract for the TV show, but I can't be your hussy. Sweetheart. Are you kidding? You kiss me goodbye, and you can kiss the divorce court goodbye. You got it? I don't care. Lighten up, Leo. Cronin, you're working for me now, OK? You want to keep your job? Shut your mouth. Got it? And as for you, you're finished in this business. Now, you call yourself an actress? Ha! You're a professional bimbo, sweetie. What? That's what. You did that for me. Yeah. 
Charles Crowley. Are you interested in the rest of my life? 